Good luck a with that. smile. Otherwise, they're going to say that I'm grumpy every time I come here. Well, I don't and there is nothing better than now is to do on Monday late. morning than to come to this morning and cook. Phil Vickery is just a call away. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're thinking about, oh, what can I make tonight, then look no further than Gino, because he's in such a good mood. He's got a lovely idea for a meal for all the family. Oh, what oh, you let's put some us. sunshine in the room. Let's put some sunshine. Sunshine, sunshine. I love you. I you know that. So. I just don't want you to be in my kitchen. It's so you stay this on is our side. kitchen. This is not you our, are a guest in our, our kitchen. Do I sit on your sofa? Do oh, I you sit on your so sofa? Well, you are a you? guest in our kitchen. If I want to stand there, I'll stand there. If I want to stir these onions, I'll stir these onions because these are essentially our onions. <laughs> you are a guest in this kitchen. Now then, what are you so, going to make? <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> You know, when people say they want to make something that they don't make a lot of mess, what? I'm just going to let this go. <laughs> I'm just going to let this go because I don't have the time and I need to do my risotto. <laughs> so when people always say to me they want to do something tasty, not too much dirt, yep. this yeah. is the ultimate one-pot dish. Okay. And what people forget about the risotto, once you learn the technique, uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. Mm. You can put fish, vegetable, meat, whatever yeah. you want. So let's... Let's remind everybody the technique. It's one of okay? my favourites. I just love risotto. Oh, I, I, I don't know. It's healthy, mm. colourful, very I tasty. I like making risotto. I like the fact it takes a long time and you can't move. Yeah, but that's spot. good, isn't it? I love you it. Stay there, yeah. You relax you with your glass of wine. It's glass awesome me, glass way to cock. do it. <laughs> now, the first thing we need to do is onions, very finely chopped, into olive oil. OK, the first three Funnily chopped, is, did you say? Uh, funnily. You've no, chopped them funnily? Uh, finally chopped. Fi uh, finally. Fine, finally. Finally, finally chopped. chopped. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> and then the, it's important to toast the rice grain. Yes. OK, that's where people make the mistake. So what you do, in the oil with the onions, put your uh, do you put rice... Do all in at one time? Yes. Absolutely. And that's that lovely arborio. This is the beautiful arborio. You can use arborio or carnaroli rice. Arborio, you find it pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Toasting the rice is very important because what's happened, you start to break the rice grain around. So the rice then is going to be ready to absorb <laughs> the stock. Am I right okay? to stand here? So you do look. this one for about uh, a couple of minutes. Now, Holly, I've got some yellow cherry tomatoes or yes, orange. You can you cut them in a half for me? Go. No, a little more, a more, okay. more. And uh, roasted peppers. Amazing. I mean, if you can do this one, can you manage? I thought you were going to slap me in the face. No, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Roasted pepper. Look, yeah. you can find them in olive oil, OK, or you can find them in brine. Absolutely up to you, whatever you prefer. But get them roasted because it gives an awesome flavour to the dish. Mm -hmm. Now, how many, how many of these do you need? How uh, about ten of them. Uh, oh, actually, do them all. Because it looks good on camera that you guys occupy it as I'm doing the result. <laughs> now, uh, wine. It's very important to add the wine. <laughs> and now is the moment that we add the wine because the alcohol needs to evaporate. So the wine goes in there. Mm -hmm. OK, you see all this bubble going. Mm -hmm. That means the wine starts to evaporate and, uh, and, and goes straight into the rice. I'm also going to put a little bit of uh, parsley. Philip, we're going to put in now uh -huh. before we put the stock okay. because I want to start to cook the parsley. I want to start to release the flavor of the parsley straight away at the beginning of the recipe. Now, once we've done this, we are there. At this point, the only thing we have to do, little by little, goes in there. OK, the stock, vegetable stock, absolutely fine. You could use chicken stock. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you looking at? Just something, just professionally, that's all right, don't oh, worry. I see. So, uh, uh, don't get distracted, because then you put me off if you don't no, get distracted. No, They've just said that we've changed the end of the show. Can you just quickly read it? So, uh, we're just... Ch well, that's what I was doing. OK, read it. Well, I'll wait. No, no, you don't have... You, what you do is you don't point it out. <laughs> oh, I see. As they cut off me, then, and cut to you, it but gives I'm me the opportunity this one and you look just to have a look else. at the it's end like, of the show. If you talk to me, I'm looking somewhere else. <laughs> Uh, you know, how is it going to make you feel? <laughs> like you have no interest in what I'm, I'm about no, to say. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's OK. Ah. Well, you've blown that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, you put the stock slowly, slowly. Remember, good risotto takes between 17 and, uh, and 19 minutes to cook. Does it? I yes. Didn't know that. Yes. No, you, you need to slowly, slowly keep stirring. Now, at some point, you're going to end up with this one, OK? This risotto here has been here for 17 minutes exactly. OK. What do you want to do with this one? Get the peppers. Those are goes in there. Ah. OK, the peppers goes in there. And the courgettes, guys, leave them about three or four minutes before you serve it. Right. Don't overcook the courgettes. You want to keep the crunch of yeah. the courgettes in there. 
To make the risotto creamy, no need to put a double cream. Remember, the technique is very simple. You put a little bit of Parmesan cheese, or in this case, pecorino. A minute 15 to go. Do you want to put Easy. your crochets in? Are they crochets in? And then, crochets, they're already they're there. In, right. And then you, you have the pep, the uh, butter, and the cheese, that they start to melt together. Wow. And yeah, as they melt, really good. you're going to get all the creamy texture. Uh, Philip, can I have a, a serving plate, please? And with salt, because with rice, you always think you need to put salt in it, but is it the stock is saltier? Stock is saltier. Okay, and then the pecorino cheese is saltier. So make ah. sure you don't overdo it. I always say to people, I suggest to, uh, at the end, just, uh, why don't you read your bits by the time I do this? Well, we're not, we're not, I'll do that in a minute, when the time ah. is right. <laughs> well, it gives me a little bit of time. Read your bits. <laughs> <laughs> don't you have nothing to read? 35 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> You've got 35 seconds. Don't you have the weather or something? <laughs> the weather is good. Talk about something. Can we Come try on. some? Because otherwise yes. we're going to run out of time. <laughs> you can, but look how beautiful is this. It does look absolutely Come on, a little bit more pecorino on top. Stunning. I, uh, I'm keeping doing this on everybody at home for my children. You know, the kids always say, oh, the crochets and the pepper and this mm. and that. This is probably the, fourth, the fifth time that I do for my children. Mm. Finally, yeah. slowly, slowly. They oh, love Daddy, it. this is really nice. lovely, Gina. Yeah, thank you. So thank you. Really delicious. No, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.